There was a time when America called most of the shots in the Middle East. It will be the policy of the United States to promote reform across the region. But analysts say Washington's power in the region is waning, and other players are stepping in, one in particular. Russia's ties to the Middle East aren't new. Back in Soviet times, Moscow spent billions of dollars supporting friendly governments in Syria, Egypt, and Iraq. And ever since the 1979 revolution ousted Iran's pro-American monarch, Russia's been the one superpower Tehran is most willing to work with, in a sometimes uneasy alliance. But not since the fall of the Berlin Wall has Russian influence in the Middle East been this pronounced. The turning point? Russia's intervention in Syria, propping up the regime of Bashar al-Assad. Russia's military power changed Assad's fortunes, and others noticed. Compare that to the perceived failures of the Obama administration, with critics saying it was unwilling to enforce its own red line against the use of chemical weapons. I didn't set a red line. The world set a red line. And the new uncertainty created by Trump's America First rhetoric. As long as I hold this office, I will defend America's interests above all else. Moscow is quickly becoming a favorite port of call for the Turks, Egyptians, the Jordanians, the Saudis, even the Israelis. As those countries increasingly look to Russia to help sort through thorny problems, making it the Middle East's newest power broker.